Thank you very much. Uh, I would now like to call on uh, our next uh, speaker, uh, Mr. Hiad Hamal, who is the uh, uh, COO for Aramex International. <clears throat> Hello. Thank you. <clears throat> so I'm the I'm the uh, the exceptional case. Right. <laughs> so the, 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 I hope the, you find the, it the, exciting. The, the, right. The non uh, the, the, the non telco. I mean, I, I'm extremely excited to to to, to have you. If only uh, because you know, I think you you know you bring kind of a slightly um, you know different perspective yes. uh, from an organization that. Pretty much has its roots in the in the physical um, right. uh, world in terms of right. transportation, logistics, and so on, uh, but is being impacted um, and is driving also some of the changes that right. are going on from a digital standpoint. Uh, can you uh, perhaps just uh, as a way of background, you know, give a little bit of trajectory for Aramex and how? Yeah, so Aramex, uh, who people I'm sure a lot of people know who Aramex is. We're a yeah. global logistics and transport company. We operate in about 60 countries around the world, and we have about 14,000 employees worldwide. <coughs> we we deliver a multiple uh, uh, we deliver multiple solutions. So we do international express, we do freight forwarding, uh, we do uh, a lot of a lot of e-commerce related stuff, and that is why I think a lot of focus in our discussion will be in that area. Whereby, in the last probably five to seven years, we've been focusing tremendously on uh, on expanding infrastructure to meet the B2C the growth. Uh, in the region and the global growth of e-commerce uh, where you have a lot of <laughs> international retailers selling into the market here. Mm -hmm. So that's where our focus has been uh, over there. We've, we're always, since we've established a company in 1983, we've been always a, an asset light company. So we don't own planes, we'll never own planes. Uh, our vehicles are leased, so we're strategically focused on making sure that we're always become and remain an asset light or organization. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about, uh, about e-commerce, which is yeah. an area where uh, you've been extremely, extremely active in. Uh, what type of trends, key trends, do you see? So if you, look at, if you look at the, the MENA region in particular, in terms of BTC, uh, if you look at the lar largest markets, so Saudi Arabia probably is the largest uh, BTC market, followed by the UAE, and then you have the, probably Qatar that comes in number three. Mm -hmm. Also, you have another very big BTC market, which is Egypt. But the, the, the difference between Egypt and Saudi and the UAE, for example, Qatar, is that uh, Egypt is more of a domestic uh, B2C market. So a lot of the business that happens B2C and e-commerce is domestically within Egypt itself. But what, if you look at Saudi Arabia, there's a huge domestic market, but there's also a big B2C influx of packages coming in internationally mm -hmm. into, the, into, into the Saudi markets. Mm -hmm. So it's Saudi, UAE. Qatar, and then you have the, the Egypt being a large, a large domestic B2C market. Yeah. How fast is it growing? Especially it's growing. It's growing. If you look at our business, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's phenomenal growth in B2C. Mm -hmm. If you look at, uh, if you look at uh, the, the, the number of packages that we handle, I can tell you about about 30% of our revenue today comes from B2C, from our flagship product, which is a shop and ship product, and us delivering B2C packages. If you look at uh, Another key trend that we look at is if you look at the average order value of what, what the cost of goods and what people pay for, mm -hmm. you're talking about probably an average of $120 per, per package, mm -hmm. per, per order. Mm -hmm. uh, people buy the number one category or commodity that people will buy is apparel, uh, clothing, clothing material. Mm -hmm. Another very important factor and trend on the BTC is how do people pay for their, uh, for their, for their goods. Mm -hmm. And you'll be surprised to know that 80% of e-commerce in the region is cash on delivery. Yeah. <clears throat> so only 20% is, uh, is uh, paid by credit card online. And that is something, of course, now, when we go into our discussion further on mobile technologies, I think that's a very important number to look at. Mm -hmm. The 80% of, of the business is cash on delivery. So we carry in around probably half a billion worth of uh, dollars every single year of cash. So collecting from the end consumer, Upon, upon delivery and then crediting that, crediting that ma amount back mm -hmm. to the, uh, the e-tailer mm -hmm. because it's the cost of goods that I'm supposed to return back to. Yeah. Um, how has all these changes, uh, the, um, kind of connected society, more people having smartphones right. and, and of, uh, how has that changed? Well, it's, it's affecting us tremendously. So if you look at our, one of the strategic paths that we took uh, the last couple of years is to invest heavily into mobile, into mobile apps. So to there's, there's, there's two key two key, key apps that are being operated within Aramix. One is our courier app, so today, whoever has received an Aramix package, you have the courier coming into your office or your home, 
he, he, pack, he delivers a package to you, then he asks you to sign for the proof of delivery that you accepted the package. The scanner that the courier actually carries is worth $1,500. What, what we have done now is that we're converting that courier, uh, a courier scanner, the $1,500, into a mobile app. So today we have applications where you can download an app onto a mobile, which is similar to that exact same app, and you can go out and deliver the package and get, it, uh, get the customer to sign on, on the package on, the, on that mobile app. So just imagine the considerable amount of cost reduction that went down from 1500 up to more than half of the cost there. Yeah. So that has been very, very practical for us. Yeah. Of course, there is a, other than the fact that that is very important, what mobile apps is allowing us to do is that if you look at the B2C business as it grows, there are peaks in the business. So mm -hmm. it's not very consistent it's like B2B business. There are peaks. So if we look at the Eid, for example, or Ramadan, you have a peak. Mm -hmm. if, you collect, if, you, if you look at Christmas, there is a peak. If you look mm -hmm. at uh, uh, Valentine's, there is a peak. Mm -hmm. Now what is ending up happening, because you cannot, today as a company, as Anamex, I just cannot have uh, couriers standing and waiting just for peaks to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in some cases, you might have <laughs> in a certain, let's say, month, you might need, uh, let's say, 200 couriers in a certain uh, city. And then when the peak happens, you need 500. Mm -hmm. So what do you do when it comes to scalability? Mm -hmm. So this is where mobile technology is helping us out tremendously, is that our mobile, the mobile app that we're delivering to couriers, is that we will be able to go out to either a crowdsource model or an outsource model. So what, if, we have, if we have capacity, the capacity that we're tapping into are not fix employees that are on our payroll as couriers, but what we're looking at, capacity for people who are willing to deliver and pick up packages, mm -hmm. but actually are not full-time Aramex couriers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where you refer to, there's a new concept coming out now, which is Uberization of things. Mm -hmm. So basically, if I have a peak, I know in, 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 in uh, Christmas, we're gonna have a, a, a spike of 30, 40% of business. So we will have, we'll go out to the community, saying, okay, there's a spike, anyone can download the app, and then overnight, through some basic training, through some induction, and some, mm -hmm. through, through some verification, anyone can become a, an Aramex uh, courier mm -hmm. uh, to pick up and deliver packages. Yeah. Now that's on the courier side of things. Mm -hmm. okay, so that's how mobile is affecting us. On the consumer side of things, mobile technology is becoming extremely important for us because we're trying to emulate, eliminate the phone calling process with the client, mm -hmm. whether it's a customer, customer service request or whether, whether it's us calling the consignee saying, okay, we're asking them, we have a package for you. What is, can you verify your address? Mm -hmm. And can you tell us when you're available to deliver the package? Because, you know, this is, especially when it's COD, I don't want to end up going to the, to the consignee and then end up not finding him there or he doesn't have the money ready. Mm -hmm. So with the consumer apps that we're delivering, which we're launching by the end of the year, is that the consumer will have access to see the courier, okay? So you, will, you go into the consumer app, you log in with your mobile number, of course. So you log in and you subscribe to the app through your mobile number. You will be able to access all the shipments that, are, that you're supposed to receive. Mm -hmm. And then as the shipments go out for delivery in the morning, you'll be able to lively track the package itself. Now, mm -hmm. why is that important? Because a lot of the times we get requests from clients as, okay, you told me that I'm going to get, the, uh, you, that you're going to deliver a package to me at 12 noon. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm not going to be there. So what ends up happening? The customer calls a number. It ends up someone sitting in a, a different country answering the call, trying to divert the request to a local operations guy in the country itself. Mm -hmm. So it's a, more or less, it's a very costly affair. Mm -hmm. So if the consignee can see the courier that holds that package and tells you, know, he, and it says that, okay, the courier is Iyad, he has his mobile number, he can communicate directly with, that, with, mm -hmm. the, with the courier. Mm -hmm. So there is one-to-one -one communication between the, the con consignee who is going to receive the package and the courier that it carries that package. So you avoided a huge amount of process and cost, mm -hmm. whereby I have call centers of people just sitting there making, uh, 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 receiving calls because I don't have that, that because that piece is missing. Mm -hmm. So that's why how effective mobile technology is going to be on us. And these are applications that you have built yourself? Yes, yes, these are applications we've outsourced with third parties. Mm -hmm. The courier app that I mentioned is already, is already in, in motion today in, uh, mm -hmm. on, uh, on uh, Nocle Lumias, and mm -hmm. then 
uh, within the next two months, we'll have it on Android and iOS. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Consigny app also will be on all platforms. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about things like machine-to-machine uh, uh, -machine technology, Internet of Things? I, the, the, uh, and I'm asking you because the, uh, the transportation and logistics vertical is one of the key target verticals for yeah. some of these technologies. So, yeah, one of, the, one of the services that we have actually here in Dubai, we have a, something called a Bullet Plus service. A Bullet Plus service is a three-hour delivery service. It's a, we call it peer-to-peer. Mm -hmm. So you, you, go into, you go into the website today and you say, I want to pick up from, let's say, from here and I want the package delivered to, to let's say, to uh, Jabal Ali. So it's a one package, uh, one request. It's not multiple pickups or deliveries. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that uh, business on its own is going to become next month completely mobile. Mm -hmm. You will no longer contact anyone from Aramex. You will no longer have to log into a website to do the request. You just log into the application, the Bullet Plus application. You say, I'm available here, mm -hmm. and I want a package delivered there, and it's going to cost you so much. Mm -hmm. And then you can pay online uh, using your credit card. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the peer-to-peer -peer yeah. solution. Yeah. Now, I think, I think touching back on the payment issue, I think this is very important, and this is where mobile technology becomes very effective, mm -hmm. is 80% you know, is cash on delivery. It's, it's, uh, it's part of it is that people just feel comfortable that they don't pay for the, pa for the cost of the goods till they physically see the package. But you know what, I don't think, you know, uh, if you look at scalability and how things are moving, that has to, we'll remain to have COD, but that is eventually going to go down. I think there, that's where more mobile payment comes into effect. Mm -hmm. When you just go and deliver the package and then instantly you can have a payment done by the, by the good signee for the cost of the goods. So I think that is something extremely important that over time, we'll see happening more and more. Now, uh, just taking advantage of the, 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 the audience here, we have a lot of providers of solutions, uh, including the mobile operators and so on. I mean, are there, uh, if you had a kind of a message for them in terms of some of the things they can do to help you, to make your life No, uh, I think we've already, we already have very good relationships with all mobile mm -hmm. operators. Mm -hmm. Well, number one, we use their network to yeah. operate the mobile app, so yeah. I think that's, that's one thing. But I think by listening to the presentations and listening to what Scott just mentioned, I think there, is, there are technologies out there okay, that the, the mobile operators are fully aware of and which is something probably we miss out on. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to, I, from, from our end, we need to cooperate more and see what technologies are out there mm -hmm. to be able to deliver on what I just mentioned, on yeah. all these, you know, the consumer app, the courier app, the payment issues. So, for example, look at Africa today. We want to launch, we have huge, we're expanding in Africa mm -hmm. as, as an emerging uh, market. COD is not possible there because of security issues. Mm -hmm. So how do you handle that? Okay, mm -hmm. the credit card penetration is not very high. So this is where effectively we can go and partner with mobile operators mm -hmm. and the same way that they pay for airtime for the, for, for, for on their mobiles, why don't they why don't consignees come and start paying for the cost of goods mm -hmm. using a mobile payment? Mm -hmm. So we can cooperate with the mobile operators there, and we can go back to the e-tailers, whether they're in this part of the world or in the West. And we have a lot of big clients mm -hmm. in the U.S. and in Europe where we can say, you know, we have a solution now to Africa whereby your customers, okay, can pay for the cost of goods through their, through their mobiles. Mm -hmm. That is a very po power, powerful uh, proposition, and this is how we have to cooperate with the, uh, the operators to make that happen. Yeah, excellent. Uh, and going forward, do you see the growth for you? Or, or yeah, you I, yeah, for us, well, again, the underlying factor here and the main uh, uh, focus for us is going to be on the B2C. Yes. So B2C is going to be very important. Yeah. Uh, uh, investing heavily into mobile apps, as, uh, as I mentioned. Yeah. And, and again, at the end of the day, what is important for us is that we need to keep on reducing the cost of delivering a package. Yeah. Because today, you know, in, the, in, the, in the past, if you look at the average revenue per package is as X, now it's lower than that. Yeah. You know, you buy something online with it, which is worth, like, say, $50, you can't end up, end up paying $15 dollars for delivering the package, yeah, it just yeah. does not make sense. Yeah. So I think with investments in technologies and us working on trying to reduce the last mile delivery cost will allow us to be more and more affordable uh, as, as logistics operators to the, to the e-commerce community. Yeah. Excellent. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.